Okay, I'm going to show you how to make answering when you get an assignment with uh, discussion questions or comprehension questions for an iBook, how to make that easier while you're reading in iBooks. So we're going to skip from Romeo and Juliet to book here. Now we're going to try Book Thief here, which is another great book that you read in school, and especially for summer reading. So summer reading is going to come along with some questions. And I want to get these questions into my notes so that I have them at the touch of my finger while I'm reading to refer back to so I can uh, keep track of what I'm looking for. So I just, on the prologue, I just highlighted some random words in four different colors because I have four different questions. So my yellow is my first question, and it's just, uh, I just highlighted a kind of a random word, but this is my first question. So anytime something about irony comes up, about stealing books, I'm going to highlight that in yellow. So when I'm trying to answer this question, I know all the quotes are in yellow. Number two is in green, and that's about Hans meeting, Hans be feeling closer to Liesel than Rosa, and why is that? And so that's always going to be in green. Here I have the third question, which is about the theme of abandonment and how does that come up in the book. So anytime you're dealing with a theme of abandonment, you'd highlight it in blue. And the last question is, how does the author foreshadow? So anytime you're thinking you're seeing something about foreshadowing, you're highlighting it with your pink choice. And whenever you want to go and see those questions, you're just going to click up here at the top and in your notes, there they are, the first, the four questions, the first four things in your notes. And so you have your questions in there with their colors, green, or yellow and green and blue and pink. And here I'm going to go to... Let's keep going and reading here. So I'm on, let's say I'm on reading up to page 35, and oh, I hear now we're getting to facts about Hans Huberman. That's probably something, and here's where he first meets Liesel. So we want to keep that for our question. Let's highlight that. That's the second one, so we'll put it in green. Perfect. A little bit more. Oh, here's some good facts that will help us know why Hans feels closer to Liesel, or Liesel feels closer to Hans, I should say, than Rosa. And let's highlight that in green. Perfect. Now let's go back to our notes. And there's what we highlighted right in green, right here. And so when we're wanting to answer those questions, it's all right there. Or let's say we, but let's say we keep reading and we forgot to highlight. So we go to search and let's say, I wonder what she thought when she saw Rosa Huberman. When did that come? And you just search it. And there's all the mentions of Rosa to help me answer my question. Some facts about Rosa. Perfect. Then we can go back and always highlight later. And we'll just keep that collection going in our notes and you don't have to find those highlighters or those sticky notes or worry about marking pages. It's all right here. All you, that you highlight if you decide to put a bookmark on a, on a important page, it keeps it right there, all organized for you. Always go back, there's your bookmarks. Anything you mark on a page, here's your co table of contacts, bookmarks, and all your notes. Color-coded and organized.